what's up gang welcome to the channel in today's video i will showcase the day in the life of an electro mechanical student here in montreal i attended rosemont technology center i took a technical that lasted 18 months and i was rewarded with the diploma of vocational studies it's called the dep or dep here in montreal quebec and here's the diploma I received after completing 18 months of school here at Rosemont Technology Center. Throughout the years, I took short clips doing different exercises and practices such as pneumatics, hydraulics, PLC programming, basics in electricity, AC motors and DC, and many more. This program was a perfect fit for me because I felt like a jack of all trades. It was like a full terrain program, something like four by four. Some trade schools or skills programs can last up to two years. But I recommend you check the EMSB English Montreal Board School website if you're planning to uh, move here. Keep in mind that Quebec is a French speaking province, so there aren't many English schools around the area. Also, the Quebec education system is a little bit different compared to all the other English provinces that have theirs in common. And if you don't believe me, check out the Council of Minister of Education Canada website. Um, but enough talking, let's check out what my life was like 18 months as a student here in Montreal, Quebec. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not coming here for that. Oh, okay. Hey. Nice. Look at the bearing. Pressure press. I'm going to show you how to do an internal thread. So we're going to punch it with this and make our mark. Mm -hmm. Clean it. Now we're gonna make a bowl. Now we're gonna drill. The threading. Hit the end. Hit the end. Hit the end. So we gotta, we can measure with the micrometer. I'm gonna try to get it in the middle. To cut it. So if everyone look at it, half the wheel is engaged, the other half is off. Whoa. Nice neural. We're the future. Watch out. <laughs> Alright, get the circuit board to work. Yes, sir. One pizza? No. See the wave. The 1K. Do I take it? 87, 1, 5, 1, 5. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 You agree with me, yes? Yes. Yes? Come here, yes? 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 You want, you just use this guy for your connector and relay board. They're both switches, but this one's push button. This one works from the relay. I want my positive, I'm going to put positive with positive into the light coming in from the out of my light. Now, if I go back to negative, light comes on. I've got a complete pass. But I've got no way of switching that on and off. I haven't put a switch in there yet. So we got this uh, electric diagram, which is basically this thing right here. To our timer. Okay, three to our timer. So this is our timer. When we, when we press our only push button, the rock should expand. Well, maybe we don't have any air. Yeah. There we go. So this is the diagram 
have Drew to actually make it in the real circuit board. <laughs> You don't want to do this with the pressure on. You probably couldn't do it with the pressure on. Um, this is a polycarbonate material. Depending on the lubrication, if you put the wrong lubrication, this could shatter. Because you can't just throw any oil in it. That tube is connected to a compressor inside the building, and that compressor is providing air to the FRL, sends a signal to the manifold. The manifold is an element that has different ports, so these ports could send a signal to all the components on this dashboard. All these little wands is where air is being supplied. So when we get signals, it'll make these things move. Yep. This is when you run it manually. We're here with the hydraulics and we got Abby teaching us how this works. And my calculations are wrong. Yeah, you have to add this part. It's a flow control something. What is and that? Then you, and then you attach it to a one-way flow restrictor, just like in pneumatics. Okay. And you restrict it like this. Okay, and then this is the cool part, so this knob. Whoa. And again, whoa, put it back. Okay, right. so other important things. So on here you'll see T. This has to go to T. T is there. If you see this valve, it should say T. Yeah. And then this, this is the, P. I'm pretty sure it's like pressure or whatever. T goes to P and T goes to T. That's the input. Okay. And then B and A. Okay. B. B. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. And this is a motor you can hook it up to as well. been a while since I made a video and now I don't have any hair. New model. Check what we're doing. Got a DC model. Look at all the puppies we got over here. So I'm pumped about this uh, module. Looking forward to it. I'm gonna get the amps. Yeah, he's gonna get the watch. Yeah, and then you record it on the table. We got the four in reverse schematic so we got the fuses right here so i built this motor with the fuse and the controller and uh, we can check the minimum speed of this motor with a tackle meter we'll do max speed great class loved it and uh, looking forward to the next module people important to know all the power is off I'm doing this with one hand okay this is my power supply right here this is the power supply this is the light that's the ground, which is the green going to the ground. That means the fuse is working. Okay. The jumper is working, and this jumper is going over to here. That's making contact. Time to do magic. Let's check. Oh, oh! We're doing an exercise. Each lever has a tag. Rain, not DC, but I want AC. Why you want AC? Because I'm going to measure up here. Oh. 240 volts. Mm -hmm. Oh. Turn power on. Oh. So I'll do. I'll, I'll turn this to zero. Alarm, and then start my pump. Ultrasound oh, sensor. Oh. 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 How many it, milliamps now? It's decreasing. And now, if I stop the water at a certain level, 
stays there, right? Yeah. yeah. Happy New Year! Thank you very much, guys! Yes, sir! Happy like retirement! Programming PLC. And it goes off after another delay. Yeah. Alright, we just finished programming this over here. We got forward, reverse. We got jog, it's like a push button. We can press the glue to jog. We got the flashers here. Flickering. I have set up a timer with the digital buttons or physical buttons. So when I press this, the motor should go off in three seconds. One, two, three. Can you please stop it? Yes, yes. Let's see. Let's count it to change to the next slide. So there you go, it changed 30 seconds. And it flashes the green. Just to the next slide. So, this program is just for traffic lights. Something similar. Problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone in progression, it's all that I wanted. A phone in affection, I summon and dub it. Why you be all in my line about nothing? Why won't you go get you a dollar or something? Don't hang with it. So you can look at the manual line. So we just put our inputs and outputs on the PLC program. And now she's going to test. Six, seven. Very nice. Very good. So we're ready to make connections. Then I see that we different, you ride and I double my don't do discussions on bragging about hundreds. Don't go to your places, I know that they sunk and don't call me your brother, I barely could trust it. I talk to a shorty, she bagging the bugging. And I'ma need all of my dollars on corporate, so hand me the money, I divvy the pie. I'ma give all of my people a point. Alright, we got our table build. Now uh, we're ready to set up our components. <laughs> We found the data sheet of this component and uh, the sensor, photo sensor. This sensor requires 24 volts, so we put three batteries together. And now she's gonna test it out, so sh Oh, so you see? This is very cool. So right now we're doing like a work simulation and we're doing some testing and uh, we're doing the real thing, you know, so we're going to get a troubleshoot and we're going to try to figure out how to fix it. So we got a graph set and we got a panel. Everything's on automated. Make sure that the buttons are making contact and I press it. Make, moves that little green thing. Make sure the main power is working. Usually the problem is usually with the fuses where it could be relays or cables. There's no loose fuses. Wanna make sure that everything is working. The sensor so that the belt can go. Check the small panel, DJ5B, for a loose or disconnected cable. 